Hey, look, who's that? She is Fabia, a girl from the Roman Empire. Hi, friends. I am so excited to tell you about the Roman numerals. You all use digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 to build bigger numbers. But in ancient Rome, we used letters called Roman numerals to name numbers. You still use Roman numerals mostly for clocks and dates. Three of the letters used are I, V and X. Come, I will show you how these three letters are used to write the numbers 1 to 20 in Roman numerals. 1 is written as I. The letter I means 1. 2 is written as I, I. It means 1 plus 1. 3 is written as I, I, I. It means 1 plus 1 plus 1. 4 is written as I, V. It means 5 minus 1. 5 is written as V. Letter V means 5. 6 is written as V, I. It means 5 plus 1. 7 is written as V, I, I. It means 5 plus 2. 8 is written as V, I, I, I. It means 5 plus 3. 9 is written as I, X. It means 10 minus 1. Next is the number 10. 10 is written with single X. X means number 10. 11 is written as X, I. It means 10 plus 1. 12 is written as X, I, I. It means 10 plus 2. 13 is written as X, I, I, I. It means 10 plus 3. 14 is written as X, I, V. It means 10 plus 4. Next is 15. It is written as X, V. It means 10 plus 5. 16 is written as X, V, I. It means 10 plus Plus 6. 17 is written as X, V, I, I. It means 10 plus 7. 18 is written as X, V, I, I, I. It means 10 plus 8. 19 is written as X, I, X. It means 10 plus 9. 20 is written as X, X. It means 10 plus 10. Now let us read, study and write the following standard numbers and their Roman numerals. We have already seen how the letters I, V, and X are used to write the Roman numerals. Now we will use one more letter to write slightly bigger numbers. 
The letter is L. Look at this chart. It shows us how the numbers 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50 are written. We have already learnt the Roman numerals from 1 to 20. Let us look at the number 30. It is written as X, X, X. It means 10 plus 10 plus 10. Next is number 40. It is written as XL. It means 50 minus 10. Lastly, number 50. It is written with a single L. The letter L means 50. Let us see how to write Roman numerals. Look at the number 38. To write 38, we need 30 and 8. So, we write 30 as x, x, x and 8 as v, i, i, i. Therefore, 38 is written as x, 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 v, i, i, i. Now, let us look at one more example. Look at number 44. To write 44, we need 40 and 4. So, we write 40 as X, L and 4 as I, V. So, 44 is written as X, L, I, V. I hope you had fun learning about the Roman numerals and how to write them with me. I know I certainly enjoyed myself. All the best. Hi dear students, I hope you all fine. And yesterday we have done exercise 2.1 uh, question number 4 we done and I given some homework. I hope you all done this homework. And today we are going to learn about this fifth question. Put a tick on the correct statement. And students, please do this work in your test book only. No need to do in your fair copy. Question the first question is that question A 36. Put a tick 36. Here x, x is there. x, x means you know that x has a value of 10. 2x means 2 into 10. That means 20. This is only 20. And 5 has a value of 5 and i has a value of 1. That means 2x. 2x means 2 into 10. That means 20 plus 5, 25 and 27. This is wrong. This is wrong. And next one, 19. X, I, X. You know that X has a value of 10 and I has a value of 1. And this I is, which rule is this? This is rule number 3. Rule of subtraction. So, x, x, 20, minus 1, 19. So, this answer is right. And 9. This also rule number 3. x has a value of 10 and i has a value of 1. What is rule number 3? If a symbol of smaller value is to the left of a symbol of higher value, we subtract the smaller value from the higher value. That means here x, x has higher value and i has smaller value. That means 
i x is equal to i as a value of 1 and x as a value of 10. So this means x as a higher value. So we have to write 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. So this answer is right. And next one 28. You know that x has a value of 10 and 2x are there. So 2 into 10. 20 plus 5, 25 plus 1, 26 plus 1, 27 plus 1, 28. So this right this this one is right. And here it is 14. You know that x has a value of 10 and v has a value of 5. This means x v x v you know that x has a value of 10 x has a value of 10 and v has a value of 5 this means this number is 15 so this answer is wrong and next one is that 29 you know that x has a value of 10 or uh, 2 x are there that means 20 here it is 5, 20 plus 5, 25, plus 1, 26, plus 1, 27, plus 1, 28. Here they given 29, so this answer is wrong. And this one is that, here it is 35, here only 2 x are there, so you know that this answer is wrong, means for 35 we need 3 x. So, this answer is wrong and here it is 17 and x v i i is there you know that x has a value of 10 and v has a value of 5 i has a value of 1 so you know uh, 10 plus 5 plus 2 i means 2 into 1 that is 2 2 that means 10 plus 5 plus 2 means 17. So this answer is right. Okay students, I hope you all understood about these chapters. This chapter is going to over. So let us wind up today's class. Tomorrow we are going to learn third chapter. So just you read this. Third chapter Addition of Numbers. Okay, students, let us wind up today's class. Stay home, stay safe.